You guys, the glued on drum head sounds so awesome. I'm really pleased with it. Now I need to trim up those excess edges from the skin and hopefully that'll go smoothly. Okay, so first I'm gonna take this band off and get a look at where I wanna cut the skin off. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here is attempt to put the band back on evenly and maybe just cut along the bottom edge of it. Hopefully this will work. Now I'm going to put on some gloves so that I can try not to cut myself. And I'm gonna use a box cutter here. As you do this, you don't want to push down on the middle of the drum head and apply any pressure there. You know, I don't want to pull the glue loose as I'm trying to get this off. And this is my first time doing this, so I, I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. That was where the spine area is. It's much thicker right there. Now that I have the excess of this wonderful goat skin cut down and I've thoroughly played the drum and know that I love it. I'm going to put on a little finishing touch here. It's not something that you have to do, but I'm going to cover this edge with a bit of decorative fabric. I've taken a green scrubby and removed some of the glue around the bottom edge here. And this fabric is some cotton fabric that's left over from my djembe project. I've cut a strip down 
I folded the edges in and ironed them flat. And I've also applied a little bit of glue on the inside to tack these edges down because once it's glued on, I don't want the fabric to roll. Now I have some water with Elmer's glue mixed in. Well, I decided not to use full strength glue just because I felt like it would probably be a pretty big mess. So hopefully this is gonna work. thunder. I'm sure my dogs are not happy right now. They really don't like thunderstorms. It's so sad. I know I said it before, but I am so excited about how this turned out. Gluing the head on is really quite easy. And even if it comes off in six months or so, it really won't be a very big deal to rehead it. And with this Elmer's glue, what you can do is soak this in some warm water and the glue should come loose if you need to remove it. Well, this skin that I used is really quite inexpensive. It cost $8 because it's a very thin skin, but thin skins tend to give lower base. So I could have spent more and gotten a thicker, fancier looking skin. But my main objective with this drum was to have a really great base note. And this totally delivered. I would absolutely use the same kind of skin again. my hope and suspicion that with the goat skin already having the same glue in it that using this to glue the fabric on that it will bond well hopefully so Here we go. It's fairly good. There's a couple places where I got some glue on the outside and that may dry a little crusty. But uh, hopefully this won't be too crusty. But I like the way it looks. I'm going to let it dry for a bit. And then I'll show you what it looks like completed. See you guys later. Bye. I'm going to demonstrate what the clay bass drum sounds like now. Please put on some good headphones or run this through your stereo because you will not be able to hear accurately what this sounds like through your cell phone, tablet, or laptop speakers. Believe me, you guys, this thing has some crazy bass. And if you really want to hear it, put on some good headphones or run it through your stereo now.
If you're into ceramics, check out my professional DVDs and instant video downloads that are available on Amazon. Just search Janice Wilson Hughes or Evolution Stoneware Pottery and they'll pop right up. I think you'll really get a lot out of them. Connect with me on Facebook at my page, Evolution Stoneware. I'd love to be friends with you there. And if you want to know whenever I upload new videos, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified. Now, if you get a lot out of my free videos, please consider making a small donation to my channel. It would be appreciated more than I think you can even realize. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.